Hello, my name is Robin Lodge, and I am vicar of St Andrew's Church in Taunton, though I've been a parish priest in the Diocese of Bath and Wells for the last 25 years. Not surprisingly, therefore, I've got a real passion for parish ministry. There's something really quite special about the way the Church of England serves all its people in every corner of the land. Wherever you go in England, you can stand back and look at the view and say, someone's got care of that. That said, the world is changing, and it's clear that parish ministry, if it is to continue to serve effectively, needs to change with it. The need to live and tell the story of Jesus never changes. The way we tell the story does. Like any good teacher in the classroom, we adapt our practices to suit those we serve. I joined the Pioneering Parishes course not just because I understand all of this, but because I also understand it is a style of ministry which was not envisaged in quite the same way when I was ordained, a style for which I was neither trained nor selected. Thankfully, the days of the vicar does it all are receding fast, and it's my job as a parish priest to seek out and encourage those whose gifts complement my own, to get them on board and all together that we may serve to the glory of God. I need to find out where that could lead. To make that happen, I also need to encourage the PCC, the leadership of the church, to capture the vision of what might be possible when we step out in that way. If there was one thing in the pioneering parishes course that helped me beyond all else, it was when Greg told us about how he taught his church in Scholing to plan according to their principles rather than their preferences. As they say, if you only do what you always do, you will only get what you always get. To build on principles rather than preferences, including my own as incumbent, is to step out in faith with a fresh grasp of what it means to be a parish church and to reach new people in new ways. As we emerge from the coronavirus pandemic, I will need to return to mission action planning with my PCC, with my team leaders and indeed anyone who wants to lend a hand. What we will not be doing is reviving the old plan set in 2019 for 2020. Too much has changed. There is now an opportunity, indeed a responsibility, to press the reset button. What that means has yet to be revealed. In the meantime, we need to review the contents of our mission and ministry toolbox. And if you can make room to place between your screwdriver and your spanner a spot of pioneering, you'll be in a better place. And so I do commend this course to you. Thank you.